Hey Scorpios, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Welcome back to my channel. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot 888. So I hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, so we're going to get into this channel message reading, Scorpios. I'm not sure what's going to come out. So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit the subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of the Scorpio Nation. Make sure that you guys have your notification bell on so that's where you can be aware as to when I post videos, okay? Whether it's uploading or going live, all right? So let's see what we got going on. Spirit, angels, guys, and ancestors, I welcome you into this reading for the star sign of Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Please protect my energy as I open this spiritual portal. Let no weapon form against me shall prosper. Please return any dark forces, evil eye, witchcraft, low vibrational energies, karmic energies, or anyone that's not of our highest good. Please return that energy back to sender tenfold. So more to be. Amen and amen. Hold on one second, guys. <clears throat> All right. Oh, shit. Excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, y'all. I felt it coming a little bit. I did. All right, guys. So let's get into it. Overall energy for Scorpio, Spirit, Angels, and Gods. All right. So we have Haunted. All right. So Haunted. This talks about memories, flashbacks, trauma, side effects. Okay. So. You could be haunted by some situations from your past, or this can be a past person that is feeling haunted by the flashbacks and memories of what you guys had. Yeah, this is someone who's like an obsessive lover, someone who is dangerous, toxic, unhealthy. This is like the devil energy, and someone here is definitely a karmic. All right, so let's talk about haunted. And of course, take what resonates, guys, and leave what doesn't. Tell me about haunted spirit angels, guys, and ancestors. Hold on, my nose ring is bothering me, y'all. Hold on. Okay. All right. Tell me about haunted spirit angels, guys, and ancestors. It feels like it's moving. <laughs> All right. Clarify haunted for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Let's stop right here. All right. So we have an energetic message from someone that says, I'm scared of losing you. So whoever, yeah, so this is a past person. So whoever this is, they're still haunted by the memories, the past, you know, good times, bad times. You know, this can be someone who's having some type of side effect, but looks like their side effect is I'm scared of losing you. So we got someone who's afraid to lose you, um, Scorpio. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let's see. Let's get the tea. All right. Tell me about haunted and I'm scared of losing you. Clarify haunted and I am scared of losing you for Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus placements. Show me what I need to see. Spirit, angels, and guides. I'm going to shuffle, guys. So, <clears throat> I'm scared of losing you and haunted. Tell me more about this for Scorpio. All right. Thank you. All right. So, King of Pentacles in the reverse. So, someone could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, karmic person. So... This is the obsessive lover. This is someone who could be broke, you know, don't have their money, their finances together. This is someone who's definitely a karmic, yeah, knight of pentacles. So we go from the king of pentacles in reverse to the knight of pentacles. So this is someone who's kind of immature, childish, don't have their shit together. Someone who's trying to get by day by day, little by little. But this is someone who's non-committal. This is someone who kind of drags their feet to commitment. Or this can be someone who's dragging their feet to come towards you. Because they know they're not effed up. You know? Wow. Wow, look at this. The Empress in the reverse. And the Nine of Wands. Four of Cups in reverse. 
someone may be dealing with a karmic female where they're not getting along. Or it's like that's their excuse of not coming towards you or something like that. But they're dealing with a karmic female. Some mother figure here. Tell me more. Haunted and I'm scared of losing you. They feel like they don't really have too much to offer you. Definitely not a commitment here. Mm. Thank you. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Let me get one more. It's almost like they are not even trying to put the work in with you, Scorpio. Whoever this is, is an earth sign. Give me one more. And we got the Knight of Cups here. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So we got two knights here. This can either be a water, either be a water sign or earth sign here. So far. It's like they want to bring you an offer, but it seems like this person don't know how to approach you, what to do, what to say. They know for sure they don't have anything to bring to the table. They're still working on their finances, their stability. Mm. This is someone who's slow to commit. This is a non-committal person. But this is someone who's not ready for a divine masculine, divine feminine type of energy or relationship. See, they're not even putting any work, but they're haunted by the memories of you. They're scared to lose you, but they're not doing anything about it. Yeah, see, they want to bring, you know, some type of love offer. They want to start over and have a new passionate beginning. But, you know, they're refusing to speak up with the Ace of Swords being in reverse. It's like, I don't know if they're not telling the truth, but they're scared to admit some things. Yeah, see what I'm saying? Now we got the page. Wow, Jesus Christ. This person just keeps going lower and lower. What is this King of Pentacles in the reverse? This is that person of, I know what to, I know how to charm you out of your panties. I know how to charm you out of your underwear. I know how to get you to like me, but I'm not ready to grow up and be a man or a woman about it. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Show me what I need to do. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. So we got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. Tell me more. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Whoever this is, they're unhappy. Very unhappy here. Oh, gosh. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Whoever this is, they're receiving some type of bad luck, bad karma. Mm. Wow. We have the Death card here. Scorpio Energy and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're not... See, the thing is... See, you, this person pushed you away, is what I'm getting, by their non-committal ways. I feel like you already said what you needed to say to this person, and it ended. There's no more relationship, no more family, nothing like that. See, Scorpio, you released the baggage, you released the burdens, and you no longer wanted to entertain having a family or having any type of legacy with this person. The ending was too painful. So the number 1010 10 here, this person made things very complicated, so you decided to choose your own happiness. And not be around this person. A lot of you guys could have chosen not to communicate with them at all. Some of you guys may have already started to deal with someone else. You know, if it's not another relationship, you decided to find your own peace and happiness within your own self, your own home, your kids, whatever it is. You're healing. You're healing with the three of swords in the reverse. But this is someone who's going through some type of bad karma. Everything that's happened to them was faded and destined. This person could be out of a job and trying to get themselves back on their feet. But they're definitely not happy. What is the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? Oh, wow. Child, we got the Judgment in the reverse and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, honey, they're going through karma. Mm-hmm. They're being punished by spirit. Mm-hmm. They got too much karmically, like, ways. Tell me more. Judgment of Scorpio, Sagittarius, Energy, of course, the Wheel of Fortune, fixed signs. Aquarius, Leo, Leo, Taurus, and Scorpio. So I'm getting a Taurus here. Yeah. Oh, gosh. We have another nine here. So the number 99 and 1010 10 showed up. So nine of swords. So by, it seems like spirit is haunting this person. And it's not in a bad way. It's almost, that's why they haunted is here. The overall energy. Because they're being shown what, what could have been with you. They're, so this person is really dealing with the trauma of losing you because they didn't want to commit to 
a marriage or a relationship or whatever this was, but they're in an unhappy stage right now. And it's unhappiness because things are not working out for them. They're getting bad luck at the bad luck. Good things are not happening for them. You know, they don't listen. They're hard head. They're a karmic and they're being haunted by the memories of you the thoughts of you it's like spirit is punching them by making this person reflect on you how they didn't put enough work in to this situation yeah wow yeah tell me justice this person's going through karma eight of pentacles in the reverse this is almost like they're being haunted like damn i didn't do enough I should have listened to the calling from spirit. And it's like now it's it's really getting the best of them now. They can't sleep. They can't eat. Mm. Nine of pentacles. So that's you, Scorpio. You decided not to even put any more work into this situation with this person. Or you figured out, hey, since you're not willing to stand up for me or stand up for this relationship, I don't have nothing else for you. But what I am doing, I'm on the good side of karma. You know, my harvest is growing. My garden is fruitful, full of berries and strawberries and pentacles money coming in i'm self-sufficient i'm good on my own it's it's cool because baby i'm not about to fight for this anymore you're not fighting for me i'm not fighting for you i'm definitely not fighting for a cheater or a liar who got temper problems i'm not doing that tell me one one more eight of pentacles in the reverse thank you the emperor in the reverse wow oh child this if this ain't a karmic could be an aries this was someone who wanted to be in control of the situation. This person probably have father issues, male or female. Neglect energy, abuse energy. This this is someone who abused their power. Mm -hmm. Look at their queen of pentacles in the reverse. So they dealt with a karmic. Oh, they're currently dealing with a karmic female. And I've seen that empress. So some the other person can be an earth sign as well. Mm-hmm. See, I feel like this person want to control over you. And so it may have already been revealed to you that this person was a narcissist, you know, or had the narcissist tendency and that, you know, it was revealed to you. Yeah, they're getting karma. Mm -hmm. This person could have reconciled with someone from their past, a third party with the three of pentacles, six of cups and the justice card. Mm hmm. Wow, everything is being blocked from this person. Communication, happiness, love. There's not going to be a divine love with that karmic person there. Yeah. Yeah, this person played themselves. And now they're in so much guilt, remorse, and regret. Because now they are like a fall from grace. Yeah. What's the final message here, spirit? And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Mm, 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 mm. This is what you call like a lazy lover. Yeah, what is the Knight of Cups? Final message for Scorpio. Thank you. Wow, so we got the Four of Wands in the reverse. Tell me more. It's almost like this person wants to make up to you or approach you with some type of love offer, a tactic, or whatever they are trying to do, but they're trying to come back to a situation that is dead, a situation that is over. There is no motion going on in this relationship between you and them. Yeah, sorry about shadow, y'all. Yeah. Mm. What's the final card? Knight of Cups. They want to approach you to a dead situation, you know? You realize this may have been a false twin flame the whole time. One more spirit, Knight of Cups. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, everyone, okay? Wow, look at there. Three of Pentacles. See, their goal is to come to you and say, hey, you know, I want to try this again. You know, I still love you. You know, I got some feelings for you here, but can we at least work this out? But it's a dead end situation. Yeah, it's over with. It's over with. This person is still stuck on you and the whole relationship, but it's over. It's over. You already said what you need to say. You cut them off from coming back around. To have a new relationship because they made their choice. They made their choice to go deal with someone else. Yeah. Someone here is a karmic. They got into a relationship with a karmic. Could be a water sign here. Cancer Pisces. They got into another relationship with a, another water sign possibly. 
And now they're in so much guilt, remorse, regret. They feel like they played themselves for a fool with the fool card in reverse. Could be an Aries or Sagittarius, Five of Cups. They're sad now. They feel dumb. Lord. This person is being blocked from coming anywhere around you. Let's see, now you're holding back. They feel foolish now. You let them go. You're no longer fighting or going back and forth with them. You just turn your back. And that's what's making them unhappy. Yeah. The universe is not blessing no mess anymore. It is what it is. What's The secret has already been revealed to you about this situation. It's nothing solid or stable between you and them. Yeah. And it's crazy because as they have invested into another person, place, or situation, they're steady stalking and watching you, seeing the truth. It's like the truth, the illusions is now falling off. And now they're seeing the truth about everything on how they betrayed you. But it may be a little too late. They did not take accountability for their actions. Some of them could have ghosted you. And the cycle is closed. It's over with. It's over with here. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. This is your first reading of the day. Thank you all so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next reading. Bye-bye.